is this low market cap coins to watch for 2021. Okay, uh, this comes up a lot all the time. Uh, one that comes to mind, obviously all this is not financial advice, uh, but at least the ones I'm bullish on that are low market cap. Uh, I am invested in P Network. Uh, let me pull this up here. So this is cross-chain DeFi. Okay, uh, just give me one second. Google's pulling up the wrong one, all right? Cross-chain DeFi composability. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm no expert on this token, but our developers gave it a code review and it scored pretty well. And its market cap, it was like around 10 million or so when I got in and it's DeFi and cross-chain. So to me, DeFi, cross-chain, good code review, low market cap. I mean, to me, that's, that's my lottery moonshot. Honestly, very super high risk. Uh, so it's very speculative. Uh, you can lose all your money actually you're probably likely to lose all your money, but this money I can afford to lose. And it's basically my flyer, right? So that's the one I'm actively invested in. And that's, that's, that's low cap. Now, Bill, any low caps you like? Well, I'm looking at this DeFi chain. Uh, DeFi I chain? have not okay. done the, f the full fundamental research on this yet. Okay. But I am really interested in anything that is moving the way this is. I mean, this thing's done nothing but go up since we were talking. Yeah. And everyone is always asking, is there a hundred X out there? Now, I, I don't know that, <laughs> but I do know that this whole idea of DeFi on Bitcoin blockchain is something that yeah. no one talks about. So if it could be this, or it could be something else, uh, it could be like DeFi 2.0 is so surprising that, you know, the coin that's going to hundred X hasn't even come out yet. Yeah. Yeah. Plus right. uh, there are a few other low cap coins, but in respect to our customers, we don't want to share them, uh, but just go to tokenmetrics.com, log in if, if you've subscribed. And cause just going through there, I'm saying, uh, let me pull this up here. Give me one second. So looking at this, we have one that's market cap of about 600 million. And the other one has a market cap of about uh, 11 million, one with a market cap of about 14 million. Yeah, so, and all these have grades of 80% and higher on the yearly. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, that's the that's whole point of token metrics, being able to give you low cap hidden gems before anybody else, right? And as you mentioned, we're working on adding the auto import to scale up. Right now we have, we have about 600 coins and we'll be scaling up to 6,000 coins. So that's gonna be huge. So definitely be sure to go to tokenmetrics.com to check that out. Uh, let's check in here with the audience and see if they have any questions. Uh, okay, no questions, just comments. People are saying ETH is the best, but don't know after the future launch. Yeah, we agree. Um, okay, all right. So with that being said, tell us what you think uh, down in the comments below. Uh, but those are the low cap picks. Obviously, you're probably gonna lose all your money, right? That's one thing when we're talking about low caps. So don't go in there and bet the house. Actually don't put in more than max 5%, but probably even less than that of your portfolio into low caps like that. Because the worst thing we hate to hear are people who go into low caps, get wrecked, come back and whine about it. Because if you're whining about it, it means you put in more, more money than then you could afford to lose. Because just to tell, tell yourself that, write that somewhere on your computer, on the wall. If you ever whine about losing money, it means you put in more money than, than, you, want, than you could afford to lose. Because in theory, your bets should be so small that you don't care if you lose the money. That's when you, you know you're doing it right. Uh, Bill, anything to add to that? You know, when you're trading, you probably should be risking at most 2 to 3%. You know, your initial trade should be 1% to 2%. You know, when you trade, the thing that keeps you in the game is your capital. And if you lose all your capital trying to 10 exit, you can't play anymore. You can't be there when there is a day when DeFi 2.0 happens or, you know, regulators settle with these companies or these companies quickly settle the way Tesla did. Right. I mean, who wants to fight these guys? So the only way to be there when it happens is to have capital. 
Yeah, well said, Bill. Well said. <laughs>